Hi, this tutorial is around creating and editing dashboards in Brightmetrics Shortel Reporting Services. I've also done other tutorials including navigating and using the Shortel Reporting Services and user management in our system. You can find those and other tutorial videos on our brightmetrics.com website by selecting the support link at the top right hand side of the page. The first thing that we need to do after logging in is go into the Edit Dashboard area in the sidebar menu. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll be spending our time here. Once we're here, we can minimize the sidebar menu to give us some additional room to work. The primary area we'll be focusing on for this tutorial is the Tab area, where we can move between different tabs that we may want to edit as well as access options for each of these tabs with our familiar drop arrows. The first thing I want to show is how to create a new tab. When you're in edit dashboard mode, the blank tab icon indicates where to click to create a new tab. Upon selection, the create a new tab window pops up asking us for some additional information. We can create a blank tab or one from a template. First, let's create one from a template. Here you can see that we have several types of templates and we'll be adding more over time. We're going to build a couple tabs around the call summary by user template. The first setting I need to check is the data source. It's likely that you only have one of these. But if you're using our service to report from multiple types of data, then you may have more than one. In any case, make sure your main Shortel data source is selected here. Beyond that, we'll select the users for which we want to build tabs. From this template, each user you select will build a separate tab. In this tutorial, I'll select myself, Jim Lewis, and our CTO, Andrew Gaskill. The other parameter I can set here is who has access to these tabs. Clicking the permission arrow brings up a menu of all the users on your system, and you can select who here has which level of access. For information around the different access levels, please see our tutorial video on user management. For this tutorial, I'm going to leave the permissions as they are here and just hit the Create button. Now you can see I've created two new tabs with identical charts. One includes data for myself and the other for Andrew. We have a few other templates you can use. Some of them are system-wide templates that don't offer much in the way of configuration, and others are individual user and workgroup templates for which you can choose your settings. But remember that regardless of the template, you can always go into the tab and edit the individual charts to meet your needs. We'll cover editing charts in a separate video. Now that we've gone through the setup using templates, let's take a look at creating one from scratch. I'll click on the new tab icon and leave the template as blank. And I'll give this tab a name. Let's call it Site A. And that's all there is to it. I've got a blank tab titled Site A. If we want to customize any of these tabs, we can just click the drop arrow to get to those options. From here, we can move the tab to another location on the dashboard, edit the tab, delete the tab, duplicate the tab, or set share permissions for the tab. You can move the tab to any order you like. The tab furthest to the left is always your default tab and will be the one that shows on your screen first whenever you select Dashboard from the sidebar menu. To move a tab, simply click the arrows in the direction you'd like to move it. Tab permissions are covered in the video for user management, and Delete tab is pretty self-explanatory. One important thing to understand about Delete tab is that if you delete a tab, it will delete it for anyone that has it as a shared tab as well. If you only want to remove it from your dashboard, but want to leave it for others that are using it, do that from the tab permissions and simply change your permissions on it to none and hit OK. Doing so will remove that tab from your dashboard. Duplicate tab will make an exact copy of the tab including all the charts on that that you can then modify or share. Let's spend a little bit of time going over what we can do in Edit tab. When we select Edit tab, the first field we can change is the name of the tab. After that, we can change the color of the tab. 
If we click in that field, it will bring up a color selector. First click the outer ring for the main color you'd like to select. And once you've done that, you can select the exact shade of that color from the color square in the middle. As you move within the square, the color of the box changes to show what the tab color will be. Note that even though the text in the box changes from black to white to make it look best depending on what color you've chosen, the actual text in the tab will always be black. For this reason, you'll want to pick a color that you can easily see black text. Very dark or very bright colors are typically not the best choice, and I think pastel colors are generally a better choice for this. Clicking anywhere outside the color selector will make it go away. The next choice is the number of columns. If you have a very large monitor, you can go up to six columns wide. For normal use, I usually stick with either one or two columns. One for seeing a long timeline worth of data, or wanting the ability to see a lot of data in the chart. Two if it's a short timeline, and there's not too many items on the chart. And finally, you'll select the chart height. My preference is large or very large size. These generally allow for the best viewing. You can choose smaller if you'll have a lot of charts on a tab that you want to be able to see all at one time to compare metrics between them. Once you've set up options as you like, select OK, and you've created your tab. The next job is to create the charts you'll have on this tab, and we'll take a look at the next video in the series creating and editing charts. Thanks for watching this tutorial on creating and editing tabs in the Brightmetrics system.